Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about how to transform quadratic functions to the form y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. And this one is the vertex form or the standard form of any quadratic functions. So if you're a grade 9 student, this one is for you. And the purpose of doing this is that when you're transforming a quadratic function into this form y is equal to a, times x minus h squared plus k, it will help you to easily identify the vertex and the other parts of a quadratic function kapag ginawa mo na yung graphing quadratic functions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have two different examples for our tonight's video wherein ang pinaka-target natin is to transform this into the form y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. So, how do we transform this? Um, actually, we will perform completing the square, pero pakita ko mo sa inyo ano uman yung gagawin. First, we need to transpose this constant 40 to the other side of the equation. So, it will become y minus 40 is equal to x squared plus 12x. So after that, our target here on the right side of the equation, we have x squared plus 12x, is that we will transform this into a perfect square trinomial. And then yung sabi ko sa inyong, we will perform completing the square. So as you can see, in performing completing the square, we will get first the constant 12, and then divide it by 2. The answer is, 6. Yung 6 natin is square natin and that would give us the answer of 36. So what will happen here in 36 is that we will add 36 here so it will become x squared plus 12x plus 36. And right now, this one is a perfect square trinomial. Here naman, since we added 36 here, Kailangan na, pwedeng mabuti. Since nag-add tayo ng 36 dito sa right side, dapat din tayo mag-add ng 36 on the other side of the equation para maging balance. Eh. So you have now y minus 40 plus 36. So what will happen is we will simplify this. This is y and negative 40 plus 36 is plus, oh sorry, minus 4 then equal to this one. Since this one is a perfect square trinomial, ang target kasi natin dito is to do this, di ba? Maging ganito yung form niya, vertex form. Meaning, we need to express this perfect perfect square trinomial into a square of binomial. Parang ganito. So dito, para makuha niyo yung form nito, get the square root of x square. That is x. Get the square root of 36. That is 6. Copy the sign of the middle term, which is plus or addition. Then square the binomial. So what we have here right now is y minus 4 is equal to x plus 6 raised to the second power. And since ang target natin na ito, ang kulang na lang ay yung plus k. Meaning, we will move this negative 4 to the other side of the equation. We will move it here like this. It will become y is equal to x plus 6 squared. Since this one is negative, it will become plus 4. And this is now the vertex form of the quadratic function y is equal to x squared plus 12x plus 40. And sabi ko sa inyo kanina, when you transform the quadratic function in vertex form, you can easily identify the vertex. So, advance na lang natin. The vertex here is this. Since this one is negative, eh, yung vertex kasi natin is represented by h, comma, k. Since this one is negative h or minus h, kung plus 6 to, hindi nyo kukopyin siya bilang positive 6. The value of h is the um additive inverse of this number or opposite sign ito, meaning that is negative 6. 
and then for the variable k, s is 4. So the vertex of this quadratic function is negative 6, 4. So I hope na natutunan nyo yung first example natin. Now let's move on with the next example. For our next example, what we have here is y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. Now the difference of this example from the previous example, as you can see, here, the value of a is equal to 1. Here, the coefficient of the quadratic term or the x squared is 2. So magkakaiba ng konti yan, may additional process tayong gagawin. So I will remove this example. I will put it here. And let's start solving for the second example. Okay, again, let me remind you guys that our target is to make this y is equal to a times x minus h square plus k. Okay, so let's start. First step is to move this constant 5 to the other side of the equation. So it will become y. This is positive. It will become negative 5 is equal to 2x squared minus 4x. So you will think that magana na tayo mag completing the square. Pero before tayo completing the square, as you can see, may common sa ating two terms. Meron tayong common, meron silang GCF na 2. So we can factor out 2. It will become y minus 5 is equal to 2 times x square minus 2x. So paano niyo po nakuha yan? 2x square divided by 2 is x square. Negative 4x divided by 2 is negative 2x. Dito pwede tayo mag-perform ng completing the square. We will complete the square of x squared minus 2x. I will get the coefficient of x, which is negative 2. Then, same process. Divide by 2. The answer is negative 1. Square your answer. Okay. So, this is now. Negative 1 square is simply 1. So, what will happen here is that we will... Write the constant 1 here inside. You have 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 1. And then, di ba, kung ano yung natin dito, dapat i-add din natin sa kabila. Pero, this one is quite, quite different. Let me show you again, ha. Remind ko lang kayo. Dito, since nagkaroon tayo ng 36, nagkaroon tayo ng 36, we added 36 here. Pero, dito kasi, may iba siya ng konti. Hindi tayo mag-add ng 1 dito. Ang, ang manggagawin natin, i-add natin yung 1, pero magmumultiply tayo ng 2. So, it will become y minus 5. I'm copying y minus 5 plus 2 times 1. Kasi meron tayong coefficient sa labas. Okay? Ang reason yan, para maging equal sila. Ito kasi hindi lang siya basta plus 1. I-multiply mo pa siya sa 2, magiging 2 siya. So, that, that's why kailangan natin kopyahin. 2 times 1. Simplify this part. You have y minus 5, 2 times 1 is plus 2, is equal to 2 times, ito, pwede natin gawin itong ano, square of binomial, get the square, uh, the square root of x squared, which is x, the square root of 1, which is 1, the sign of the middle term is minus, then square it. Ito naman, simplify natin ito, magiging y, minus 3 is equal to 2 times x minus 1 square. Ngayon, di ba tayo tapos kasi yung plus k, ito okay na tayo dito, yung plus k na lang. Transpose negative 3 to the other side, it will become y is equal to 2 times x minus 1 square from negative plus 3. So this is now the standard form of the equation. You have y is equal to 2 times x minus 1 squared plus 3 from this original form. Now, if you want to know your vertex, advance na natin. If this is negative 1, so your h is positive 1, then plus 3. So meaning this is 3. This is your h and this is your k. So I hope guys you learned something from this video. 
on how to convert or transform a quadratic function into vertex form for you to easily identify the vertex of a given function. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the ring bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!